Welcome to Orange County, ladies and gentlemen. Please use caution when opening the overhead bins. This items may have shifted during our flight. Hey guys, it's Pope. This is super crazy, but I am already back in Southern California. Just temporarily though, I am here for the weightlifting world championships and I am competing in the American Open finals next weekend. So I'm here for about eight days. I just landed in Anaheim just a little while ago, freshening up and about to head over to watch Colin, my coach and teammate, compete for Team USA in the 94 weight class A session. So the best of the best in the world here in California on home turf for USA. Super excited to see him lift. I had my final big workout of training for the American Open yesterday and it went really well. I am very excited for what all I've been able to accomplish climbing my way back up into the game the last eight weeks. I was completely out to a back sprain for about seven weeks. So in eight weeks I'm getting close to almost my all-time best numbers. I'm about maybe five kilos off in both lifts from where I was at before when I was training for University Worlds. The last time I was able to go triple digits on the clean and jerk was before I left for Asia since I was disqualified in the clean and jerk for bombing on snatch at Worlds. So I had not hit a heavy clean and jerk since early August and I was able to put together a very solid 100 kilo 220 pound clean and jerk yesterday. I feel uh, very confident that getting back on the platform here at the American Open is going to be a very positive experience for me and I'm happy with how my training has been going and happy that I'm enjoying it again most of all that's the most important thing to me having fun in the gym again and wanting to get under the bar every day also exciting news i went to the sec championship game last night and my dogs pulled out an sec championship title over auburn it was amazing heading off to see the world's venue now for the first time i bet it looks awesome i've been watching some of the other athletes on the live feed, pretty cool. We brought home medals in both men and women with Harrison and Maddie Rogers, both placing bronze. Super cool to get world championship medals for the USA. But these are good luck for Collins. You bring them everywhere. Two dollars? Two dollar bills. Check out Courtney's pants. <laughs> You're about to be on YouTube. <laughs> YouTube famous now. My followers. <laughs> Courtney made these for Colin. <laughs> oh. Should we try and make the face? No. <laughs> back in SoCal, back to tacos. don't remember, she was the twerk queen star yes. on one of the Juggernaut videos. <laughs> what? <laughs> Taking it to new levels. a bummer to see Colin go down to injury like that. His opener 163 looks so strong. His pull looked so freaking powerful. It looked like he was good for at least like 10 kilos more than that opener. 
but just caught the 168 a little weird. Um, he said he heard a pop and felt his shoulder dislocate and that's why he went down to the ground and uh, was able to get it back into place but not able to finish the competition. So I feel so bad for him. He worked so hard to get to this point and I don't know, he deserved a big competition day but it didn't work out and that's kind of how sports go sometimes. You win some, you lose some, and this was a big loss, but he'll be back, and 2018, I'm sure, is going to be a super strong year for him. I think it should be okay. It doesn't seem to be bugging him too much today, so a few weeks R&R &R and that shoulder should be good to go again. I'm actually really impressed and kind of inspired by the way that he handled the injury as well. Even immediately after the competition, he was still kind of chatting it up with everyone, and meeting with fans and being really positive about moving forward and trying not to like sulk too much or feel sorry for himself and that just uh, is a great role model for myself and for all the other lifters he was meeting and I am really lucky to be around such strong minded individuals I'm having a great time here at the world championships amazing to watch Lydia Valentine and Ginny Arthur in the 75s in the next session. Watching Lydia become world champion is super amazing. One of my favorite lifters. She snatched that 118 kilos like it was nothing. That is like ultimate goal. She is so badass. Getting ready to head out to training. I am going over to SoCal Weightlifting, which is where I was lifting before I moved back to Georgia. So I'm excited to go hang out with those guys. Got one of my last like real workouts before the meet today. A few singles in both snatch and clean and jerk, around like 80% I think. I was trying to save space in my suitcase, turning my uh, supplements into nesting dolls. But now they're all really dirty. Got it. <laughs> Good to me away. Just wasted maybe have a scoop away. Now I need my pre-workout. That one was easier. Turned out to be a great idea. Two jars, carried four. All right, time to lift.
Great workout. I didn't miss a lift. That's always a great feeling before a meet on your last reps of snatch and clean jerk. Hit a few at 75 on snatch and two singles at 90 on clean jerk. Got a squat workout tomorrow and then it's just resting up for game day. Hope you like the video. I'm gonna stop it now, but I have lots more coming from Anaheim, from Worlds and the American Open Finals. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and have your notifications turned on. Give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.